Upon waking up, Su Wenxuan wandered through a dark and turbulent world, plagued by demons and strange creatures. Fortunately, carry the hanging cultivation system with you. As long as the skill is placed in the idle position, it can be automatically cultivated and can also be accelerated by spending money. Countless years later, Su Wenxuan said, My invincibility relies entirely on my own efforts. Keywords of the novel Go hanging up in the chaos of God without pop-ups, go hanging up in the chaos of God complete collection download, go hanging up in the chaos of God latest chapter reading. Chapter 1 Chaos and Systems You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 1 Chaos and Systems Pain It hurts too much. The intense pain swept through Su Wenxuan's body, causing him to suddenly open his eyes and sweat profusely, as if he had just run ten marathons. What is this place? Su Wenxuan widened his eyes and looked around at the environment. He was lying on a black and hard bed, covered in a cold and hard blanket, and his eyes reflected a dilapidated wooden house with air leaks on all eight sides. He remembered clearly that he had just drunk a little more with his friends and fell asleep on the sofa when he got home. How could he suddenly come to such a haunted place? The next moment. A flood of information flooded into Su Wenxuan's mind, colliding and merging with his memories. After a while, Su Wenxuan murmured to himself, so it's time to travel. He never imagined that he would travel through time. Although he wanted to travel while reading various novels, he was still very unhappy when he truly traveled. His life in his past life was not just about wealth and prosperity, but it could also be considered as a comfortable and peaceful life. He didn't really want to travel through it. Moreover, the world he traveled through and the original owner of this body were both very bad. This world is dark and chaotic, with demons and monsters rampant, and people struggling to make ends meet. Compared to the peace and stability of their past lives, it is simply hell. The reason why his predecessor died is closely related to the eerie demons. The last memory of his predecessor was seeing a strange vertical eye the size of a fist pass through the room, and the cold breath eroded his entire body, frightening and freezing his predecessor to death. Even now, Su Wenxuan's body still feels incredibly cold. This kind of coldness is not the kind of ice and snow below minus tens of degrees, but a kind of coldness that seeps into the bone marrow and soul. Simply put, it means encountering something eerie. This world is eerie. Su Wenxuan was shivering all over and couldn't help but grab onto the cold and hard blanket covering his body, as if only this thing could give him a little warmth. In the darkness, hoarse and strange sounds echoed, and the screams of others made him shudder. Su Wenxuan tightly closed his eyes and dared not move, afraid that he would see something strange as soon as he opened his eyes, which would at least scare him to death. How did you cross into this hellish world? After a long time, the strange voice disappeared, and Su Wenxuan finally calmed down and had to think about the future path. After crossing, how can I survive in this hellish world? He wanted to travel back, but it was obviously impossible, so he didn't waste time thinking too much. Suicide is also impossible. Anyway, he must live, even if he is really in hell, it's good to live an extra day. Since that's the case, how to survive in this world is a question he has to consider. Does the system have it? Su Wenxuan tried to call out to the system, but at least he was also a time traveler. It's hard to justify not having a standard system, right? As soon as the words were spoken, a purple golden panel emerged in front of Su Wenxuan. Name Su Wenxuan Cultivation not included in the product. Practice. None. Skill. None. Number one hanging position. Empty. The current cultivation speed is double, and skill hanging upgrades can be placed. Money can be used to increase cultivation speed. Number two hanging position. Not opened, can be opened with money. Number three hanging position. Not opened, can be opened with money. 
Isn't this the game I played in my past life? Su Wenxuan recognized this system. This is a game he played in his past life, where he can automatically cultivate skills by placing them in the idle slot. Not only that, it can also accelerate cultivation by spending money, opening a new idle cultivation field. In this world, there is the existence of martial arts cultivation, and the system is obviously prepared for martial arts cultivation. However, to cultivate martial arts, it is not an easy task. You must have a master lead you through the door. There are quite a few martial arts schools in Pingxi City, but none of them easily accept apprentices and require money to learn martial arts. My predecessor also wanted to learn martial arts, but I have always been amazed because I have no money. Su Wenxuan was lost in thought. He just crossed over, and his predecessor had no money, which means he had no money. Learning martial arts from a master was just a daydream. By the way, Su Wenxuan suddenly remembered something. He reached out and groped around his neck, taking out a missing black stone. The black stone looks no different from ordinary stones. It has been carried by the predecessor since birth. The predecessor once secretly asked a knowledgeable old man that this black stone can sell for a high price of twenty tails of silver. However, even when his predecessor suffered the most, he never considered selling the black stones, because the black stones were related to his background and whether he could find his biological parents. Su Wenxuan doesn't care about so much. The biological parents of his predecessor have nothing to do with him, let alone the fact that even his predecessor died. How to survive is the most important thing. If it's a big deal, sell the black stones first, and then buy them back when you have money. Let's get through the current difficulties first. The next morning, Su Wenxuan quickly left his dilapidated house. Su Wenxuan, you're going to work again. A big hand, like a pair of pliers, pressed against Su Wenxuan's thin and weak shoulder. Su Wenxuan's face changed and he looked to his right. There stood a middle dot aged man with a head taller than him and a face full of flesh. He was exposing his yellow teeth and emitting a strange odor, grinning at Su Wenxuan. Prince, I'm going to work. Su Wenxuan quickly apologized with a smile. This middle dot aged man, named Wang Guan, is a subordinate of the Black Wolf Gang, responsible for collecting protection fees for the area where Su Wenxuan lives. My previous life was so miserable that it was closely related to the Black Wolf Gang and Wang Guan. All the money earned by his predecessor from working outside was plundered by him, even the bedding, plates, pots, pans, and pots in his predecessor's home were taken away by him. If it weren't for the ordinary black stones, he might have taken them long ago. My predecessor hated this Wang Guan to the extreme, wanting to eat his flesh and drink his blood. Working is good, Wang Guan patted Su Wenxuan's shoulder. I know your child earns five when a day, including food and accommodation on the construction site. You don't have any money to use, so you obediently deliver the five one to the prince's hands at night and ask him to keep it for you. It will be used for you to marry a wife in the future. Do you understand? Understood, understood. Su Wenxuan nodded and bowed repeatedly, wishing to stab him to death with a knife. He he, by the way, let me tell you one more thing. Last night, there was a strange appearance that killed more than ten people. Get lost. Wang Guan patted Su Wenxuan's head and then turned to threaten the next passerby, all the money earned today must be handed in. Evil people rampage and act eerily, they are not good things. It's really hell. Su Wenxuan didn't say much and quickly left. 3 Ding Jade Shop Su Wenxuan stepped into it without saying anything nonsense, I want to sell something. The person behind the counter glanced at Su Wenxuan and didn't pay much attention. What good thing can a guy in such shabby clothes sell? He is considered wealthy if he can sell two quilts. Su Wenxuan took out a black stone and patted it on the counter, sell this black jade. Is it black jade? Su Wenxuan doesn't know, just blow it and it's done. The shopkeeper picked up the black stone and didn't pay much attention, 
but after carefully examining it twice, a hint of surprise suddenly flashed in his eyes. Su Wenxuan keenly caught this flicker in his eyes. This is just an ordinary stone, not worth any money. The shopkeeper casually threw the black stone on the counter and said slowly, for the sake of not being able to afford food, I'm kind enough to give you twenty-one. Su Wenxuan had no expression on his face, picked up the black stone, turned his head, and walked away. Twenty-one. How dare you say it? Su Wenxuan left without hesitation, leaving the shopkeeper stunned. Surprisingly, this guy still had some sense of discernment. Wait. The shopkeeper shouted as he saw the treasure about to slip away, I'll give you two tails of silver. Su Wenxuan's footsteps as he left did not stop at all. The shopkeeper became anxious and said, Fifteen tails, fifteen tails, don't think about any more. Su Wenxuan finally stopped and turned around, it's only fifteen tails. The old man told him that black stones could be sold for twenty tails, but not necessarily for twenty tails, so Su Wenxuan wouldn't expect the highest value. Moreover, he doesn't have enough strength and dare not really sell at too high a price. If he angers the owner of the Three Ding Jade shop, it's hard to say whether he can leave the shop. This world is not the world of a past life. Even if he is killed and thrown into a stinky ditch, no one will pay attention to him. It's better to stop as soon as it's good. Holding fifteen tails of silver, Su Wenxuan quickly left the Three Ding Jade shop and headed to the nearby Chuanyin Martial Arts School. Su Wenxuan had just walked out when a person with a guard-like appearance came to the jade shop shopkeeper. He stared at Su Wenxuan's back and made a neck-wiping gesture, shopkeeper, do you want to? The shopkeeper played with the black stone in his hand and shook his head casually. Fifteen tails of silver is enough, but it's not necessary, he said the guard didn't say anything, but he quietly left the three ding jade shop and followed Su Wenxuan. Fifteen tails of silver, for the shopkeeper of the three tripod jade shop, there is indeed no need for greed. But for him, fifteen tails of silver is not a small amount, and he can make a move. The most important thing is that Su Wenxuan is thin and frail in stature, with tattered clothes. At first glance, he came out of the slums, without any background in the background, and without his own strength. If he doesn't have his own ideas, who will he be? Su Wenxuan ran quickly ahead, with guards following recklessly from behind, completely afraid that Su Wenxuan would discover him. Even if he kills Su Wenxuan on the street, no one will avenge him. The government is full of decorations. However, when he saw Su Wenxuan enter the cloud-piercing martial arts school, he couldn't help but frown. Damn it! Someone really wants to have an idea for me, fortunately I'm smart. Su Wenxuan had long anticipated such a situation, so he chose a jade shop close to the martial arts school in order to get the money and run to the martial arts school as soon as possible to ensure his safety. It wasn't until he entered the martial arts school that his heart pounded wildly, finally calming down a bit. This short experience is even more dangerous than his past life of over twenty years. Do you really have the money to apprentice and learn martial arts? The gatekeeper of Chuanyin Martial Arts School looked at Su Wenxuan suspiciously, but he didn't seem to have the money to learn martial arts. Rich. Su Wenxuan took out the six tails of silver he had just received, leaving nine tails of silver in his arms. He is aware of the tuition fees at the Chuanyin Martial Arts School, which are charged on a monthly basis, with two tails of silver per month and at least three months of sexual intercourse. When he doesn't have the money to continue paying the tuition fees and when to get out of here. Seeing Su Wenxuan take out the silver, the old face of the gatekeeper immediately smiled and said, Since you have money, come with me. Following the gatekeeper, we arrived at the training ground of the Chuanyin Martial Arts School, where a large number of people were practicing. Some were taking horse steps, some were lifting stones, and some were practicing boxing. It was really lively. The gatekeeper brought Su Wenxuan to a burly man and pointed at him, saying, Second young master, this is a newcomer who wants to learn martial arts. 
The burly man casually glanced at Su Wenxuan, who handed him six tails of silver without saying a word. I'll study for three months first, he said the burly man nodded and put away six tails of silver. From now on, you will be my named disciple at the cloud-piercing martial arts school. I will teach you how to refine your strength. My name is Chi De, and you can call me second senior brother. I have seen second senior brother. Su Wenxuan quickly bowed and said, My name is Su Wenxuan. Chi De didn't say much nonsense and directly introduced, before becoming a true warrior, one must first refine their strength, enhance their physical strength, and reach a strength of 1,000 pounds in order to become the lowest grade warrior. The power cultivation method of our Chuanyin martial arts school is called lifting stones method, which simply means increasing one's own strength by lifting stones. Don't underestimate the importance of lifting stones, thinking that any cat or dog can cultivate. If it weren't for our Chuanyin martial arts school's lifting stone method, and the secret medicine soup to cooperate with cultivation, lifting stones yourself will only harm yourself. Su Wenxuan listened attentively, and it was reasonable for so many people to go to the Chuanyin martial arts school to learn and practice the stone lifting technique. Qi De was not aimless or talking nonsense. You come with me. Qi De brought Su Wenxuan to two stones of different sizes. He lifted the large stone, which weighed at least a hundred pounds, and raised it above his head. Then he said to Su Wenxuan, lift that small stone and follow my movements. The other small stone was not heavy, only weighing ten pounds. Su Wenxuan quickly picked it up and followed Qi Da's example in performing movements. One moment the stone is lifted above the head, another moment it swings left and right, and the body follows the back and forth movement of the stone to make different movements. Not long after, Su Wenxuan felt a tingling sensation all over his body, not just in his arms, but all over his body, with some pain and softness everywhere. At this moment, Qi De stopped and said, All right, take a break. You just practiced the stone lifting technique, you can't practice it for too long. After resting, practice again. Think about my movements carefully. Su Wenxuan nodded, but Qi De didn't say much. He turned around and went to teach other disciples. Sitting on a large stone, Su Wenxuan took a break while silently reciting, Panel. Name. Su Wenxuan. Cultivation. Not included in the product. Practice. Beginners 0.5% of the Ju Shure FA. Skill. None. Number 1 Hanging Position. Empty. The current cultivation speed is double, and skill hanging upgrades can be placed. Money can be used to increase cultivation speed. Number 2 Hanging Position. Not opened, can be opened with money. Number 3 Hanging Position. Not opened, can be opened with money. Without much thought, Su Wenxuan moved his mind and placed the stone lifting technique on the number one hanging station. In the hanging cultivation of the stone lifting technique, the current cultivation speed is double, and money can be used to increase the cultivation speed. How much money can improve cultivation speed? Su Wenxuan asked in his heart. Ten tails of silver can increase cultivation speed by twice, how much does it cost to open the second hanging slot? One hundred tails of silver can open the second hanging position, we still need one or two silver coins. Su Wenxuan let out a light sigh, knowing that he had already sold the black stones for an extra one or two silver coins, but now it's a bit late to say these things. However, having a system for hanging up and practicing is ultimately a great thing. The system is different from ordinary people. Ordinary people who practice for a certain period of time must rest, otherwise it will damage their body. Moreover, ordinary people also have various things to do, such as eating, drinking, pulling, sleeping, etc. Even if they try hard, they can only practice for a maximum of 4 to 5 hours a day for 12 hours. Ordinary people may experience various fluctuations in their state during cultivation, and it is impossible to maintain the peak state for cultivation. 
the system can maintain a stable cultivation speed day and night, without fatigue, shouting fatigue, or any damage. According to this calculation, one day of system cultivation is at least equivalent to three or four days of ordinary people's cultivation. After resting for a while, Su Wenxuan eased his muscle soreness and began to practice the stone lifting technique by moving stones. Although there is a system crash, he can still practice on his own. With his words, one day of cultivation is equivalent to five days of cultivation for an ordinary person. Time flies to noon. Junior brother Su, second senior brother asked me to take you to the cafeteria. A young man with an ordinary appearance came to Su Wenxuan and introduced himself, my surname is Wu, Wu Peng. Excuse me, senior brother Wu. Su Wenxuan followed Wu Peng to the cafeteria. The tuition fee is two tails of silver, including food, accommodation, and study. After arriving at the cafeteria, Su Wenxuan saw everyone lined up in front of a large wooden barrel, which was not filled with food, but with a dark and secluded soup. Su Wenxuan asked Wu Peng in confusion, Senior brother Wu, what's going on? Wu Peng explained, Inside the big wooden barrel is a secret soup made by the martial arts school. When we practice the lifting stone technique, it is very harmful to our bodies, so we must drink the secret soup before every meal. Su Wenxuan nodded and lined up in front of the big wooden barrel. The middle dot aged woman who was making soup scooped a bowl for him, and Wu Ping said on the side, the soup is quite bitter. Drink it while it's hot, otherwise the medicinal effect will be lost and it won't be useful. Su Wenxuan took a sip, and the soup was indeed very bitter, just like the traditional Chinese medicine he had boiled in his past life. However, Su Wenxuan still took a big sip while it was hot, as it was beneficial. The soup and medicine entered the abdomen and the effect came into play quickly. Su Wenxuan felt that his muscles were no longer so sore, but rather had a faint sense of comfort. Taking secret decoction, the current cultivation speed is twice and lasts for two quarters of an hour. Surprisingly, secret decoction medicine still has such benefits. Su Wenxuan's eyes lit up and he immediately felt a bit regretful. Unfortunately, the duration was too short. The duration of half an hour can only be said to be better than nothing. I don't know what formula the secret soup medicine is, it would be great if it could be taken continuously. The food in the cafeteria is quite abundant, with meat, vegetables, and rice, and heavy oil and salt. The tuition fee of two tails of silver is really worth it. You should know that Su Wenxuan used to earn 5 won a day and only 150 won a month, which is 0.15 tails of silver. Two tails of silver, he can't earn it for a year. After finishing his meal, Su Wenxuan went back to the martial arts training ground to practice the stone lifting technique. At night, lying on the large bunk prepared for the students in the martial arts school, although there were many people in the room and snoring kept coming and going, Su Wenxuan felt much safer than his previous home. In this place, even if it's noisy, he can still sleep. The cultivation of Ju Shur Fa has broken through, and the current level is 0% for beginners. Get started. Su Wenxuan felt delighted in his heart. During the day, he inquired from Wu Peng and found out that most of the students needed five or six days to learn the stone lifting technique and it only took him over half a day. After the introduction of the stone lifting technique, it has a greater effect on enhancing physical strength. It's just that Su Wenxuan doesn't have a specific attribute panel, and he doesn't know how much power he has. If you want to know your strength, you need to test it on the force measuring column in the training ground. He is still far from the standard strength of a warrior, and there is no need for any testing. The next day, Su Wenxuan is still practicing the stone lifting technique on the martial arts training ground, but he has not demonstrated the entry dot level level of his stone lifting technique. Most ordinary people can only get started in five or six days. Getting started within two days can be considered a genius, and there are not many people like this in the cloud-piercing martial arts school. In half a day, 
I learned the stone lifting technique and it's even rarer in the cloud piercing martial arts school. Su Wenxuan didn't want to be too eye dot catching. This world is too dangerous, it's better to keep a low profile. Wood is beautiful in the forest, the wind will surely destroy it. Su Wenxuan practiced quietly, occasionally being guided by Qi Da who came over, everything was very calm. Time flies by so fast. On the afternoon of the third day when Su Wenxuan arrived at the Chuanyin Martial Arts School, Qi Da suddenly stared at Su Wenxuan and strode over, have you reached the entry dot level level of practicing the stone lifting technique dot. Senior brother's guidance is good, I just broke through. Su Wenxuan stopped his cultivation and said. Although it is important to be low dot key, there is no need to be too low dot key. Showing some natural talents and abilities in a timely manner is necessary to gain the attention of the cloud-piercing martial arts school and receive more cultivation. What? He broke through. If I remember correctly, he hasn't been here for three days, has he? In less than three days, I got started with the stone-lifting technique, which was more than twice as fast as me. Upon hearing the conversation between Qi Da and Su Wenxuan, the other named disciples couldn't help but envy. Su Wenxuan's talent is more than twice that of ordinary people, which has reached the standard of becoming a formal disciple. There are three types of disciples at the Chuanyin Martial Arts School. The first type is named disciples. The second type is formal disciples. The third type is to personally pass on disciples. The tuition fee for a named disciple is two tails of silver per month, and he can only study the Ju Shur Fa and make a bowl of secret soup and medicine every day. The formal disciple also earns two tails of silver for a month's tuition, but can learn more things, such as three bowls of secret soup and medicine every day. As for the personally transmitted disciples, it goes without saying that they not only don't have to pay tuition fees, but also can learn all the things in the martial arts school and enjoy good treatment. End of this chapter Chapter 2 Cultivation You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 Cultivation Su Wenxuan, come with me and I'll take you to see your father. Qi Da no longer cared about others and strode away with Su Wenxuan. Although formal disciples may not have as much talent as their own disciples, they are still worthy of cultivation. They must be brought to meet their father, who is the master of the Chuanyin Martial Arts School, and be personally determined by his father. Following Qi Da closely, they arrived outside a courtyard. There is a soft lounge chair in the yard. One looks like a middle-aged person, not burly, but rather some thin middle-aged people are slowly swaying on the chair, closing their eyes to rest. It is obvious that the middle-aged man on the soft chair is the owner of the Chuanyin Martial Arts School, Qi Da's father, who is known as the Chuanyin Sword in Pingxi City. Qi Hengyue. Wait for me here first. Qi Da gestured for Su Wenxuan to stop, then he approached Qi Hengyue and said a few words in his ear. After listening, Qi Hengyue didn't open his eyes, but he nodded lightly. Qi Da waved at Su Wenxuan, gesturing for him to go over. Su Wenxuan quickly ran over and Qi Da said, Come and pay respects to your master. Greet master. Su Wenxuan dared not neglect and quickly bowed. Qi Hengyue slowly opened his eyes, glanced at Su Wenxuan twice, and then closed his eyes again. From now on, you will be my official disciple of the cloud-piercing martial arts school, enjoying all the treatment of an official disciple. Work hard to cultivate and not slack off. Thank you very much, master. Thank you very much, senior brother. Su Wenxuan shouted loudly. Qi Hengyue waved his hand, and Qi Da left with Su Wenxuan. After leaving the courtyard, Qi Da smiled and said, From now on, you will be my true junior brother. Although the named disciple also called Qi Da senior brother, he obviously did not consider the named disciple as his true junior brother. At least a formal disciple is required to qualify as his junior brother. Immediately after, Chida said, Let me first tell you about the treatment of formal disciples. 
Firstly, it is an independent house. Chida took Su Wenxuan to a small cabin. Although the room was not large and only had one bed and one table inside, it was well sealed, preventing air leaks on all eight sides and eliminating the need to spread the bed with others like before. Then there is the secret soup medicine, with one bowl in the morning, one bowl in the middle, and one bowl in the evening every day. Lastly, there is martial arts. The Chu Shu Fa is only a method of refining strength, not a method of warfare. In the future, I will teach you the art of warfare. Of course, the prerequisite is that you must cultivate the Chu Shu Fa to the level of minor achievement within at least 20 days, if you cannot. Chi De didn't finish speaking, but Su Wenxuan also understood. If you can't do it, don't think about practicing war techniques. Not only that, there is also a possibility of losing the status of a formal disciple. It's not about becoming a formal disciple, it's about being a formal disciple for a lifetime, everything depends on future performance. Performed well and was able to be promoted to a personal disciple. If you don't perform well, continue to be a named disciple. Chuanyin Martial Arts School doesn't raise waste. Senior brother, I understand. Su asked Xian Zheng the key leader. It is too easy for him to cultivate the stone lifting technique to a small level within 20 days. He only knows how to hide his strength and cannot fail to achieve it. Let's work hard. Qi De patted Su Wenxuan's shoulder. After becoming a formal disciple, being able to take three bowls of soup and medicine every day, which is twice the cultivation speed of six quarters of an hour and a half, is still very good. For more days later. The cultivation of Ju Shur Fa has broken through, and the current level is 0%. 20 days. There's no need for 20 days. Su Wenxuan chuckled inwardly, I only took four days to handle it. Although he met the requirements in four days, Su Wenxuan did not show it. Chi De gave him 20 days, and he had to break through at least 17 or 18 days to avoid being too I dot catching. Su Wenxuan continued to devote himself to cultivation. In the blink of an eye, it was the 18th day. The cultivation of Ju Shur Fa has broken through, and the current level is 0% mastery. I have reached the level of mastery, Su Wenxuan said to himself, I don't know how much strength I have now. The higher the realm of the Ju Shur Fa, the faster the strength will increase, and the stronger the physical body will also be. Su Wenxuan could feel that his strength was constantly increasing, but the martial arts training ground was crowded with people with mixed eyes, and he couldn't test it easily. He could only endure it temporarily. Now you can go find Qi De. Approaching Qi De, Su Wenxuan said straightforwardly, Senior brother, my stone lifting technique has broken through to the realm of Xiaocheng. Oh. Show me how to practice. Qi De Liendao. Su Wenxuan immediately displayed the Ju Shu Fa in front of Qi De, with some reservations. Well, it is indeed the stone lifting technique of Xiaocheng realm, and you have put in effort. Qi De praised Su Wenxuan and then said seriously, Since you have met the requirements, I can teach you more. Su Wenxuan's expression lit up with joy, and he was finally able to learn war tactics. The method of refining strength is equivalent to a weapon. Warfare is the method of using weapons. Both are indispensable. He wants to survive in this world, and fighting is inevitable. Enhancing his combat power is the most important thing. Do you learn martial arts or weapons? Qi De did not directly teach Su Wenxuan, but first asked, the advantage of martial arts is that you can directly cultivate them. Weapons are more complicated, and our cloud-piercing martial arts school can only provide you with wooden weapons. Learn weapons. Su Wenxuan didn't think much. Although weapons are necessary for maximum effectiveness in martial arts, when it comes to using weapons with bare hands and bare hands, it is obvious that weapons have an advantage. We cannot use our fists and feet to forcefully shoulder swords, can we? 
Moreover, the highest skill of the Cloud Piercing Martial Arts School is the Cloud Piercing Saber Technique, so it is natural to learn weapons, and also the art of swordsmanship. Do you want to learn swordsmanship? Chida smiled as if he could see through Su Wenxuan's thoughts and ideas. Su Wenxuan did not conceal anything, I have heard of the reputation of the Cloud Piercing Saber Technique. Please advise me, senior brother. I cannot teach you the cloud piercing saber technique unless you become my father's biological disciple and gain his respect. Chida said, Since you want to learn the art of swordsmanship, I will teach you an unremarkable art of swordsmanship. The broken mountain sword. Dot. Watch it. Chida took down a thick backed wooden knife from the nearby weapon rack and began to wield it in front of Su Wenchuan. The wind was resounding, and the knife light flickered. Chida flickered and moved in front of Su Wenxuan, his blade cutting through the air, and his power was unparalleled. Even if it was just a wooden knife, Su Wenxuan had a feeling that if he was hit by this wooden knife, there would be only one outcome, and it would be a two-pronged cut. Sure enough, even with a wooden knife, one can unleash tremendous power in the hands of a master. Chida is a truly skilled warrior. After performing a set of broken mountain knives, Chida stood up with his sword and looked at Su Wenxuan, Su Junior Brother, how much did you remember? Su Wenxuan looked at the system panel and saw that 0.01% of the beginners had learned broken mountain blade. However, he still smiled bitterly and said, I only remember less than 20%. 20% is not bad, Chida nodded. Take a wooden knife and practice with me. Okay. Su Wenxuan took down a thick backed wooden sword and followed Chida to practice. After teaching Su Wenxuan the broken mountain saber three times in a row, Chida said, Practice it yourself first, and feel free to ask me if you have any questions. After watching Chida leave, Su Wenxuan practiced the broken mountain sword alone. Now he has two martial arts the stone lifting technique and the broken mountain saber but there is only one hanging cultivation position, so he needs to allocate his cultivation time well. Unfortunately, we still need one or two silver coins, otherwise we could have doubled the cultivation speed of number one hanging machine position, barely enough to be used as two hanging machine cultivation positions. After practicing until evening and having dinner, Su Wenxuan once again found Chida. Senior brother, I want to borrow one or two silver coins. Su Wenxuan spoke awkwardly, willing to lower his face and borrow money for his own cultivation. Chida didn't say much, nor did he ask Su Wenxuan why he borrowed money. He casually took out one or two silver coins and handed them to Su Wenxuan, take them. One or two silver coins were just a small amount of money for him, and he was not afraid that Su Wenxuan would default on his debts, so he easily took them out. Thank you very much, senior brother. Su Wenxuan was overjoyed and quickly put away the silver to express gratitude. Returning to his own room, Su Wenxuan took out another nine tails of silver and placed them together with the one or two silver he had just borrowed. He silently thought to himself, upgrade the cultivation speed of the number one hanging position. Upgrade successful, the current cultivation speed of the first idle position is twice. Su Wenxuan grinned and then asked in his heart, how much does it cost to upgrade again? How many times can it increase the cultivation speed? Upgrading again requires 100 tails of silver, which can increase the cultivation speed to 4 times. Another 100 tails of silver. Upgrading the cultivation speed of the first hanging position requires 100 tails of silver. Opening the second hanging position also requires 100 tails of silver. 100 tails of silver is definitely a large sum of money that cannot be borrowed, and one can only find a way to earn it on their own. Shaking his head and letting go of distractions, Su Wenxuan replaced the stone lifting technique on the number one hanging station with the broken mountain blade he had just obtained. From then on, the Ju Shur Fa and Duan Shan Dao practiced for six hours each day. Due to the doubling of cultivation speed, Six hours of idle cultivation is equivalent to one day of idle cultivation in the past, 
and the progress of cultivation will not be slow. Dive down to practice and occasionally show Chida his cultivation achievements, so that he doesn't feel like he's lost in the crowd. Seeing that Su Wenxuan's progress was good, Chida was also very satisfied. After all, Su Wenxuan also taught himself. Su Wenxuan performed well, and he felt that his level as a teacher was very good. More than a month passed in the blink of an eye. Su Wenxuan has been practicing in the cloud-piercing martial arts school for two months. On this night, a figure quietly arrived at the dark and silent martial arts training ground. I don't know how much power I have. Su Wenxuan stood in front of a huge black stone pillar, which was about half a zhang tall and had ten red thin lines on it. Each red line represented a force of 100 pounds, which was the measuring column of the cloud martial arts school. Su Wenxuan finally couldn't hold back. After practicing for two months, he had to test his strongest strength and understand how strong he was. He first looked at his own panel. Name Su Wenxuan Cultivation Not included in the product Practice The Ju Shi FA achieved a great success of 57%. Skill Proficient in Mountain Cutting Saber by 96%. Number 1 Hanging Position During the hanging cultivation of Broken Mountain Blade, the current cultivation speed is twice, and money can be used to increase the cultivation speed. Number 2 Hanging Position Not opened, can be opened with money. Number 3 Hanging Position Not opened, can be opened with money. Taking a deep breath, Su Wenxuan lifted his fist, gathered all his strength, and struck the force measuring pillar in front of him with one punch. With a muffled sound, a faint blue light began to emerge from the bottom of the black force measuring column. The blue light quickly spread upwards and quickly crossed the first red line, followed by the second and third red lines in the end, Qingguang stopped between the fifth and sixth red lines. About 550 pounds of strength. The blue light lasted for about 10 breaths before receding, and the entire force measuring column turned pure black again. Su Wenxuan had not yet left. He raised his right arm and used his hand as a knife, flipping his palm as if a large knife was waving, and then fiercely struck the force measuring column. He used his hands as knives and unleashed the broken mountain saber. With another pop sound, the blue light reappeared and spread upwards. This time, Qingguang stopped between the 7th and 8th red lines, near the position of the 8th red line. Approximately 780 pounds of strength. If I had a real knife, its power would be even stronger. Hand knives are not real knives after all, and they still have an impact on the performance of broken mountain knives. After testing his own strength, Su Wenxuan quietly left without causing any alarm. No one knew that he had only practiced for two months and had such strong strength. The next day. After staying at the Chuanyin Martial Arts School for two months, Su Wenxuan, who had never left, finally left the school for the first time. He walked towards his former home. But he didn't go home, he had no attachment to that family, and there was no need to go back specifically. Su Wenxuan arrived at a house that was much better than his previous home and gently knocked on the door. Who's bothering me to sleep? Look at me if I'm not peeling your skin. The door opened with a cursed voice, revealing a face full of flesh and blood. It's Wang Guan from the Black Wolf Gang. Before he could finish cursing, Wang Guan saw a black figure smashing down on his head. With a loud bang, Wang Guan rolled his eyes and leaned back straight. In his eyes, there was a reflection of a masked figure who could only see a pair of eyes. That pair of eyes seemed a bit familiar, but couldn't remember who it was. Of course, he didn't have time to think anymore, because his consciousness had already begun to dissipate and, accompanied by another heavy blow, completely turned into nothingness. The figure slapped Wang Guan to death with two bricks, then entered his home, searched for Wang Guan's home and his body, and finally quietly left Wang Guan's home. Wang Guan's death was not discovered until two days later. End of this chapter
Chapter 3 Monster Hunting You are listening at NovelFull.audio The source has no content or has errors. Chapter 4 Quadruple You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 Quadruple The people of Jalen Village who were fleeing were also stunned. They saw a person wearing a monkey face mask, holding a steel knife in front of them. The steel knife pierced the fire-tailed wolf's head from its left eye, shattering its brain. The fire-tailed wolf, who left them helpless, died like this. Pulling out his knife, Su Wenxuan chopped off the tail of the fire-tailed wolf and put it away. In fact, the meat of the fire-tailed wolf, a demon, is also a great tonic. Eating it every day can enhance the strength and intensity of the body, but Su Wenxuan is not prepared to do so. It's not that I don't want to, but that I can't. The meat of demons is poisonous and must undergo special treatment before consumption. Su Wenxuan did not know the method of treatment. Thank you, Lord, for saving our jailing village. The old village chief of jailing village trembled and came to Su Wenxuan, loudly expressing gratitude. Su Wenxuan said lightly, there's no need to be too polite. These are all things that we demon hunters should do. Despite that, the villagers of Jailing Village still took out some money from every household and raised two tails of silver for Su Wenxuan as a gesture of gratitude. Demons are terrifying, and human terror is not inferior to demons. Someone once slaughtered an entire village for the sake of money, and their behavior was even more heinous than that of a demon. There is a precedent where the people of Jailing Village are unaware of Su Wenxuan's personality and dare not offend him. They only hope to use money to prevent Su Wenxuan from indiscriminately killing innocent people. Having the money to deliver it to his door, Su Wenxuan didn't hesitate and just accepted it. Accepting it can actually make the people of Jailing Village feel at ease. Not accepting it will make them anxious and afraid to sleep. After receiving the money, he left Jailing Village. Before leaving the village, three more people came, two men and one woman. The fire-tailed wolf has been killed. They saw the body of the fire-tailed wolf at a glance, as well as Su Wenxuan, a strange person wearing a monkey face mask. Su Wenxuan glanced at the three of them. If they wanted to kill him and seize the spoils of war, Su Wenxuan didn't mind killing them and the fire-tailed wolf together. Did you kill the fire-tail wolf alone? One of the three women stared at Su Wenxuan. Su Wenxuan nodded. How impressive. Another man sighed, the three of us can work together to kill the fire-tail wolf. You did it alone. May I ask your name, sir? Su Wenxuan's gaze flickered as he wanted to take action outside and have some communication with others sooner or later. Therefore, Su Wenxuan had already thought of an answer and said, My name is Qi Tian. Without further explanation to the three of them, Su Wenxuan quickly left with the tail of the fire-tailed wolf. The three of them followed closely as they saw the target of the mission being killed. After killing the fire-tailed wolf, Su Wenxuan did not immediately return to the city. He still had time to find the next mission target. His second task goal is located in the mountains behind Jailing Village. About an hour later, Su Wenxuan walked out of the mountain and his backpack doubled in size. On the way back to Pingxi City, it is a desolate and uninhabited place. Suddenly, two people jumped out of the nearby earthen slope and blocked Su Wenxuan's way one by one. These two people have quite similar appearances and should be brothers. The person in front shouted, leave your package and all your money behind, we can give you a way out. Su Wenxuan said coldly, it's shameless of you not to go hunting demons yourself, but to be bandits blocking the way and robbing. Hee <laughs> hee, that's how we like to do it. What can you do with us? The people behind laughed heartily and said, monster hunters, where can we compare to robbing you guys directly for money? Stop talking nonsense and let go of your packages and money, otherwise today next year will be your anniversary. Okay. Su Wenxuan threw down the package on his back, I'll give it to you. The package had just left Su Wenxuan's body, 
and a flash of knife light flashed in the eyes of the person in front. Puzzy. A great head flew high, and blood spurted out three feet from the person's neck. Brother. The people behind saw this scene, their eyes cracking with anger and roaring wildly. Su Wenchuan's backhand slashed again, and from then on, the person's eyebrows fell, splitting his head in half. Two knives, take out two robbers. Dare to come out and rob any garbage, I'm sorry. Su Wenchuan put away his knife, picked up his package, searched the two of them, and then strode away. Inside the monster hunting pavilion. Su Wenchuan placed the package on the counter and said, I'm here to hand in the task. There are two tasks, one to hunt the fire-tailed wolf and the other to hunt the green forest anaconda. The staff behind the counter immediately opened the package and inspected the two task items. After a moment, the staff said, the task goal is correct, the total is ten tails of silver. Su Wenxuan nodded and said, no problem. After collecting ten tails of silver, Su Wenxuan left the demon hunting pavilion and returned to the cloud-piercing martial arts school once again. He originally had no money left on him. He completed two demon hunting missions, plus two tails of silver given to him by Jailing Village, and five tails of silver found by killing the robber brothers. He now has a total of seventeen tails of silver. Taking out six tails of silver, Su Wenxuan handed it over to Chida. He first renewed his tuition for three months, but still had eleven tails of silver left on him. Junior brother, the miss of the Chow family has asked me to contact you again. As long as you agree to be her first choice, she will give you a monthly reward of three tails of silver. Chi De smiled and said. Su Wenxuan remembered the half-person tall water tank and quickly said, Senior brother, I'll make money on my own. Junior brother, you can't say that. You have to rely on your own strength to become the face of Miss Chow's family. Before he could finish speaking, Su Wenxuan ran away, and Chi De laughed heartily from behind. With eleven tails of silver with him, Su Wenxuan took out three hundred won and went to eat a good meal first. Since crossing over to this world, Su Wenxuan has not eaten too good food. He once indulged in luxury and suddenly ate up the two months' salary he used to earn as a laborer. After eating and drinking enough, Su Wenxuan thought about the next path. Today, he obtained seventeen tails of silver in one day. If he had this harvest every day in the future, it would only take him more than ten days to upgrade the cultivation speed of the first idle position to four times, and he could also activate the second idle position. If it were someone else, they would definitely go out hunting demons every day without hesitation to earn money, upgrade the system as soon as possible, and achieve faster and higher cultivation speed. But Su Wenxuan didn't think so. Not every day can one have such good luck as today. If you walk on the night road too much, you will always encounter ghosts. Today, whether it was the demons encountered or the two guys who blocked the way and robbed, their strength was not strong, they were all goods that were instantly killed by him. What about in the future? Who can guarantee that all the weak chickens we will encounter in the future will be like this? In case of bad luck and encountering a stronger one, his life can be declared over. He doesn't seek speed, he seeks stability. The matter of making money by hunting monsters definitely needs to be done, but we cannot be in such a hurry. Since we have three more months of cultivation time, we should make good use of this time, improve our strength a bit, and then go hunting monsters to make money, so as to be safer. Su Wenxuan did not go hunting demons to make money anymore, but instead remained silent in the cloud-piercing martial arts school, devoting himself to cultivation. Another month has passed in the blink of an eye. Su Wenxuan's mountain-breaking saber has finally reached the pinnacle of cultivation. His physical strength finally reached 700 pounds. Su Wenxuan, who was still contemplating, once again wore a monkey-faced mask and, under the name Chi Tian, received a bounty mission at the monster hunting pavilion. The harvest on this day was not significant, only ten tails of silver, but Su Wenxuan was not dissatisfied. As long as there is no accident, you can accept more or less money. 
After the second demon hunting, Su Wenxuan waited for three more days before starting his third demon hunting operation. Afterwards, Su Wenxuan acted in a mode of hunting demons once and resting for three days, with an average income of twelve tails of silver per hunting. So, almost a month passed. Su Wenxuan finally saved up enough one hundred tails of silver. Holding a hundred tails of silver, Su Wenxuan was pondering. Is it upgrading the cultivation speed of the first idle position or activating the second idle position? After a slight calculation, Su Wenxuan finally decided not to activate the second idle position and upgrade the cultivation speed of the first idle position. After upgrading, the first idle position has four times the cultivation speed. The newly opened second hanging position only has twice the cultivation speed. It goes without saying how to make the most cost-effective decision. Upgrade successful, the current cultivation speed of the first idle position is four times. The second day after successful upgrade. The cultivation of Ju Shur FA has made a breakthrough, and the current state is perfect. After nearly five months of hanging up practice, the stone lifting technique has finally reached a perfect level of cultivation. However, although the Ju Shur FA was completed, Su Wenxuan still did not take down the Ju Shur FA and completely handed over the number one hanging machine position to the cultivation of the Duan Shan Dao. The method of lifting stones is perfect, but the proficiency is perfect. No matter how much one cultivates it, the proficiency will not increase. However, practicing the method of lifting stones can still increase physical strength and intensity, which must be practiced. Strength is the foundation of cultivation. After completing the cultivation of Broken Mountain Blade, one can no longer practice it, because Broken Mountain Blade is only a martial art, and it is meaningless to practice it again after the proficiency is complete. In the following days, Su Wenxuan did not go out hunting demons anymore, but instead devoted himself wholeheartedly to cultivation. Due to the upgraded speed of idle cultivation, in just half a month, Broken Mountain Blade reached its perfect state. From then on, all of the first hanging position was handed over to the cultivation of the stone lifting technique. At four times the cultivation speed, Su Wenxuan's strength continued to grow, comparable to that of an ordinary person for 20 days. However, it was still not an easy task to reach a strength of 1,000 pounds. The closer you approach a thousand pounds, the more difficult it becomes to increase your strength. In just one month, it was time to pay the tuition fees again. Su Wenxuan exercised his muscles and bones, and once again came to the monster hunting pavilion. Not to mention anything else, I will still get six tails of silver and continue practicing at the Chuanyin Martial Arts School for three months. He has no intention of leaving the Chuanyin Martial Arts School in the short term. By relying on the Chuanyin Martial Arts School, he can quietly cultivate and improve himself. Leaving the cloud-piercing Martial Arts School, there are no more peaceful days like now. Not only that, he also has other plans, which is to obtain the cultivation method for the martial artists who enter the cloud-piercing Martial Arts School. He has been staying at the Chuanyin Martial Arts School for so long, and there is also some trust in him. He is more likely to obtain the method of cultivation from beginners. If he were to change the martial arts school, everything would have to start from scratch, and the gains outweigh the losses. Although his strength has more than doubled compared to his first demon hunting a few months ago, Su Wenxuan still chose the lowest difficulty one-star mission. Take your time in making money, there's no need to take too much risk. Su Wenxuan, who was familiar with the road, killed a hissing mastiff. As the sky gradually darkened, he quickly collected the mission items and headed towards Pingxi City. Today's task is not difficult, it's just that it took too much time to find the target, which is why it has been delayed until now. The wilderness at night is the place with the most eerie appearances, and Su Wenxuan doesn't want to encounter any eerie things. He traveled to this world, never encountering any strangeness, and the memory related to strangeness was the vertical eye he saw before his predecessor's death. However, Su Wenxuan was actually extremely wary of strangeness in his heart. 
That kind of thing that appears and disappears is much more terrifying than demons and cannot be prevented. Especially at night, the probability of eerie appearances is higher, so he hardly goes out at night. As he walked, the sky grew darker and Su Wenxuan's footsteps quickened. The outline of Pingxi City was already in front of him. Suddenly, Su Wenxuan stopped. More than ten corpses lay in the open space ahead of him, which he must pass through. These corpses are completely different from ordinary corpses. They are dry corpses lying on the ground in various directions, and there are black bats lying on the corpses, seemingly sucking human blood. Su Wenxuan took a breath in his heart and without saying a word, turned his head and walked in the other direction. He doesn't have time to care about it, nor does he want to care about the cause of the formation of the corpse. He just wants to stay as far away as possible. He had seen many corpses and had killed more than one person himself, but this eerie corpse still made him shudder. However, Su Wenxuan wanted to escape, but it was not so easy. The black bat sucked the fresh blood from the corpse, flapped its wings and flew into the dark sky, disappearing. In the next moment, a cold and eerie breeze blew by. The dry corpses that were originally lying on the ground all stood up eerily, like zombies, and came towards Su Wenxuan's position. Sleeping Slot Su Wenxuan was shocked and pale. He quickly pulled out his legs and ran towards Pingxi City at the fastest speed in his life. Although entering Pingxi City may not necessarily be safe, crowded places always give him a greater sense of security. A group of corpses, swaying their bodies, chased after Su Wenxuan. However, after running a few steps, Su Wenxuan realized that the speed of these zombies was very slow and it was impossible for them to catch up with him. Despite this, Su Wenxuan still ran at the fastest speed in his life. He secretly made up his mind to learn a body method and martial arts after returning. If you can't win, you must increase your speed and be able to run. Su Wenxuan's figure disappeared into the night and returned to Pingxi City. Two grey-clothed men appeared at the original location of the corpse. End of this chapter Chapter 5 Bringing Together You are listening at NovelFull.audio The source has no content or has errors. Chapter 6 Dark Market You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Dark Market As his physical strength grew stronger and he approached the beginners, Su Wenxuan was certainly happy, but also had some worries. He is worried about how to cultivate after entering the grade. After reaching a strength of 1000 pounds, the effect of the lifting stone technique will be greatly reduced. Even if he has four times the speed of hanging the machine for cultivation, the increase in strength will be negligible. Because after entering the product, one needs to cultivate something called strength and internal qi, which cannot be achieved by the Ju Shure Fa and requires more powerful techniques to achieve it. And this kind of cultivation is extremely difficult to obtain. There is indeed a Chuanyin martial arts school, but Su Wenxuan's displayed strength is only 500 pounds, so he naturally cannot be taught. Even if he showed a thousand pounds of strength, it would still have to go through numerous tests. After gaining trust, Qi Heng Yue would teach him stronger martial arts. The techniques that can refine internal Qi are secrets of various forces and are not easily taken out. It is absolutely impossible to learn the inner Qi technique with just a few tails of silver for a month's tuition fee. This day, Su Wenxuan and Qi De chatted and pretended not to ask, Senior brother, what kind of internal energy is it? Qi De smiled and said, are you curious about internal anger, kid? I'm very curious. I heard that the internal energy is very magical and powerful, but unfortunately I didn't have the chance to see it. Su Wenxuan said enviously. Then I'll let you see. Chi De tiptoed and a pebble on the ground flew into his hand, causing his palm to suddenly grip it. Next second. Chi De spread out his palm, and the originally hard pebbles had disappeared, leaving only a handful of crushed stone powder in his palm. With a gentle blow, the crushed stone powder dissipated with the wind. 
Hiss. Su Wenxuan took a deep breath. Even if he had nearly a thousand pounds of strength, it was impossible for him to crush pebbles into stone powder. However, Chida easily achieved it, which was unimaginable. Chida said indifferently, my internal energy is running inside my body and cannot break through the constraints of the skin membrane. If I can break free from the constraints of the skin membrane and release it outside, even enemies separated by several zhang will be killed by my palm. I really want to practice the inner qi technique. I don't know when I can have inner qi. Su Wenxuan murmured to himself, without hiding his envy. Qi Da smiled and said, Junior brother, don't be too ambitious. First, increase your strength to a thousand pounds. After gaining my father's approval, he will naturally teach you the internal qi technique. Su Wenxuan nodded and pretended to be casual, asking his most concerned question, Senior brother, besides being taught by master, is there any other way to obtain the inner qi technique? Qi Da didn't think much and replied, The internal qi technique is a secret of various forces and is not easily given to outsiders. However, there are other ways to obtain the internal qi technique. Occasionally, internal qi techniques may appear in the dark market, but those internal qi techniques are incomplete, some even have problems, and accuracy cannot be guaranteed. Dark Market Su Wenxuan's gaze flickered as it was the first time he had heard the name. Qi De continued, the dark market is an underground trading place in Pingxi City, located in a dilapidated estate north of the city. The dark market opens on the 15th of each month, and occasionally interesting things appear there. Sometimes, I also go for a stroll. After a pause, Chida said solemnly, Junior brother, your strength is not enough. Don't go to the dark market. Even if you don't have money, you may still be troubled by others, killing people and stealing goods. Su Wenxuan said, Senior brother, I have self-awareness. I dare not go to that place. Well, you're good at cultivating. Sooner or later, my father will teach you the inner qi technique. Qi De encouraged Su Wenxuan. Despite that, Su Wenxuan had already remembered the place of the dark market. However, he did not immediately go to the dark market, but continued to quietly hang up and practice in the Chuanyin Martial Arts School. In the blink of an eye, it was another month later. Under the rapid advancement of four times the cultivation speed, Su Wenxuan's physical strength finally reached a thousand pounds. At this point, the role of the stone lifting technique was already very small, and the broken mountain blade had already reached a perfect level of cultivation. Su Wenxuan had a four times faster hanging machine cultivation position, but there was no method to cultivate, which was truly a tragedy. A few more days passed. The day of the dark market has arrived. Su Wenxuan ultimately decided to take a look at the dark market of the dilapidated manor in the north of the city with sixty or two silver coins. Wearing a black robe, a monkey-faced mask, and wielding a knife, Su Wenxuan arrived outside the dilapidated estate in the north of the city. He found that most of the people who came here were wearing masks and black robes, and very few dared to show their true faces and walk around boldly. Entering the dilapidated estate, Su Wenxuan discovered that it was just a small street vendor market. Many people set up street stalls with strange things in front of them, and the vendors were all wearing black robes and masks, unwilling to be discovered for their true identities. Su Wenxuan even saw that someone was selling the meat of the silver cloud leopard, but he didn't know if it was from the D family or if someone stole the meat from the D family. Su Wenxuan looked left and right, and his goal was only one, which was the internal qi technique. However, after looking around, I didn't find anyone selling the inner qi gong technique. Qi De once said that the inner qi gong technique occasionally appears in the dark market, but not every time. There was nothing he wanted to buy, and Su Wenxuan had no choice. After some thought, Su Wenxuan squatted in front of a street stall, where three secret books were placed. These three secret books are not internal qi techniques, but rather non-grade martial arts like, Broken Mountain Sword. Su Wenxuan's gaze fell on one of the secret books, which had three words on its cover. Fish Walking 
This is obviously a body technique and martial arts. The vendor didn't wear a mask and only covered his face with a black scarf. When he saw Su Wenxuan's gaze, he said coldly, Ten tails of silver for fish walking, we won't bargain. Unqualified martial arts, are they selling so expensive? Su Wenxuan said, Eight Liang. The vendor responded coldly, If you don't buy, then leave. Don't block someone else's path. Su Wenxuan cursed inwardly and gave him a middle finger. In the end, he spent ten tails of silver to buy Yu Yu Bu. After buying Yu Yu Bu, Su Wenxuan quickly left the dark market. Fortunately, he did not encounter any bandits who blocked the way and robbed him. He smoothly returned to the Chuanyin Martial Arts School. Although I didn't buy the inner qi technique this time, I still gained something from buying my own method and martial arts. Su Wenxuan flipped through the secret script of fish walking and learned it once. When fish walking appeared on the system panel, he placed it on the number one hanging station. A non-essential fish walking skill costs ten tails of silver, and the price of the internal qi technique is at least ten times that of fish walking. Next time in the dark market, he will go again. If there is an internal qi technique and he doesn't have enough money to purchase it, wouldn't it be awkward? Su Wenxuan is not in a hurry for the time being. He first hung up the machine and practiced for twenty days, reaching the level of great success in fish walking. Subsequently, he once again came to the monster hunting pavilion to take on missions and earn money. Su Wenxuan, who possesses a thousand pounds of power, as well as a perfect swordsmanship martial arts and a great body technique martial arts, still takes on a one-star difficulty task. He is not afraid of low difficulty tasks, so he can do a few more low difficulty tasks at most, and even if he accumulates a little, he can earn money. Never fall for difficult tasks for the sake of money, as it will not be worth the loss. Having learned from the previous experience, Su Wenxuan once again went out of the city to hunt demons and set a time for himself to return to Pingxi City before Yushu. That is to say, we need to return to Pingxi City before 5 p.m. in the afternoon. Tasks can be left unfinished, and money can also be avoided. It is necessary to return to the city as soon as possible to avoid encountering any strange things. For ten consecutive days of hunting demons, Su Wenxuan did not encounter any danger and the harvest was also very good. On average, he received twenty tails of silver every day. Ten days of idle cultivation also allowed him to reach the peak level of 31% in his fish walking. With a huge sum of 270 tails of silver, Su Wenxuan once again came to the dark market. The dark market doesn't seem to have changed much, it's still the stalls that set up stalls and conduct transactions. Everyone is very quiet and doesn't reveal their true colors. Su Wenxuan's goal is still to use the internal qi technique. You only have the first level of M.O. Yugong, how dare you sell it for 200 tails of silver. As he was walking, Su Wenxuan suddenly heard a sound and he suddenly shook. M.O. Yugong. First priority. Only the internal qi technique can be divided into multiple numbers. The internal qi techniques and martial arts of the product are divided into three levels. Lower grade, medium grade, and upper grade. Among them, there are three levels of lower level martial arts, six levels of middle level martial arts, and nine levels of upper level martial arts. The higher the quality of the technique, the more powerful it is. Su Wenxuan hurriedly walked towards the direction where the sound came from, and saw a thin and dry figure placed in front of him a black secret book with the three big characters, M.O. Yugong, on it. In front of him was a burly man wearing a mask. The M.O. Yugong is an internal qi technique, even if it is only a lower level technique, it is still an internal qi technique, which is not expensive for 200 tails of silver. The thin figure spoke in a deep voice. The burly man snorted coldly, if it were a complete M.O. Yugong, of course 200 tails of silver would not be expensive, not even 1000 tails of silver. But don't forget, your M.O. Yugong only has the first layer, not the second two layers. 
Without the last two layers, after completing the first layer, either changing the techniques or finding the last two layers will be troublesome. I only want 200 tails of silver, and I won't sell any less than one or two tails. The skinny figure has an air of not lowering prices. The burly man was furious and wanted to slap the thin figure to death, but he dared not. Although there is no explicit rule against taking action in the dark market, there is an unwritten rule against taking action. If you want to kill people and steal goods, you can do whatever you want outside of the dark market. But in the dark market, we cannot take action. If it were possible to fight and fight in the dark market, then this dark market would no longer exist. Some rules are being jointly upheld by everyone. 200 tails of silver, right. I'll buy it. Su Wenxuan strode over without a word of nonsense and threw 200 tails of silver in front of the thin figure, while also taking away the M.O. Yugong. Okay. Friend, you're very decisive and decisive. The skinny figure was overjoyed and quickly put away the money, leaving the stall unattended. He just rolled around. The burly man was furious and glared at Su Wenxuan with anger in his eyes. The anger in his eyes was enough to burn Su Wenxuan to ashes, how dare you harm my good deeds. Su Wenxuan didn't say a word, turned around and strode out of the dark market. The burly man's gaze flickered. On one side was a thin figure with two hundred tails of silver. On one side is Su Wenxuan, who is pregnant with M.O. Yugong. Who should we pursue? After only thinking for a moment, he followed closely after Su Wenxuan's figure. Although two hundred tails of silver are quite a lot, for him, M.O. Yugong is still more precious. As long as he cultivates M.O. Yugong and possesses internal energy, is he afraid that he won't get two hundred tails of silver? The burly man followed closely behind him, and of course Su Wenxuan knew. As soon as he left the dark market, he unleashed his fish walk, like a fish swimming rapidly in the water, swaying and running far away. The burly man chased after Su Wenxuan, but could only eat dust behind him and couldn't catch up with him at all. Damn it, don't let me know who you are. The burly man was so angry that he wanted to vomit blood. If he had known Su Wenxuan was so fast, he would have gone to pursue that skinny figure. Now we can't catch any more. The burly man vented his anger for a while, then turned around and headed towards the dark market. Two big fat sheep have both run away, and he will have to find another fat sheep no matter what. Otherwise, wouldn't this come in vain? At this moment. Behind the burly man, a blade shone brightly, and the sharp edge cut across his neck. The head of the burly man soared high, and he never knew who had killed him until his death. Behind him, a person appeared. It was Su Wenxuan wearing a monkey face mask. Su Wenxuan did not really leave, but secretly returned after running away. If the burly man wants to kill him, then he must take him down. His guess was not wrong. The opponent's strength was indeed inferior to him, and coupled with Su Wenxuan's calculated and unintentional surprise attack, it was only natural to kill the burly man. After grabbing the burly man's package, Su Wenxuan once again performed fish walking and quickly left. Chuanyun Martial Arts School In one's own room On Su Wenxuan's bed, there were two packages and a secret book. The secret script is naturally M.O. Yugong. There are two packages, one belonging to Su Wenxuan himself, and there are still seventy tails of silver left inside. The other package belonged to the burly man who had been killed by him, containing a total of 150 tails of silver. A total of 220 tails of silver, the system can be upgraded again. First, spend 100 tails of silver to open the second hanging slot. Use another 110 tails of silver to increase the cultivation speed of the second idle position to four times that of the first idle position. After some operation, Su Wenxuan only had the last ten tails of silver left in front of him. Next, in order to increase the speed of idle cultivation again, each idle position requires one thousand tails of silver. If you want to open the third hanging slot, 
you will need more money, which is a full 10,000 taels of silver. However, for Su Wenxuan now, two hanging positions that are four times faster than his cultivation speed are already very sufficient. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Biography You are listening at novelfull.audio Chapter 7 Biography After the system upgrade was completed, Su Wenxuan picked up the secret script, M.O.U. Gong, carefully read it several times, and then followed the text and pictures above to practice. Not long after, the system panel displayed the words, M.O.U. Gong, as the first level beginner at 0.01%. The cultivation method had already appeared, and Su Wenxuan no longer practiced it himself. Instead, he placed the M.O.U. Gong in the second hanging position. Three hours later, Su Wenxuan's body trembled slightly, and a sudden surge of heat appeared in his lower abdomen. Heat flows through the meridians of the body, increasing slightly with each flow. He has finally developed his inner energy. With a thought, the system panel unfolds. Name Su Wenxuan Cultivation one level of internal qi. Practice. The Ju Shur Fa is perfect, and the first level of the Mo Yu Gong is a beginner's 5%. Skills. The Mountain Saber is perfect, and the peak of Fish Walking is 31%. Number 1 Hanging Position. During the hanging cultivation of Fish Walking, the current cultivation speed is four times, and money can be used to increase the cultivation speed. Second Hanging Position In the first hanging cultivation of M.O.U. Gong, the current cultivation speed is four times, and money can be used to increase the cultivation speed. Number 3 Hanging Position Not opened, can be opened with money. A few days later Breaking through in the cultivation of swimming fish steps, the current state is perfect. The fish walking was completed, and the number one hanging station was available. Su Wenxuan then found Qi Da. You said your broken mountain blade has reached its peak level and you want to cultivate more martial arts. Qi Da looked at Su Wenxuan in surprise. Su Wenxuan didn't talk nonsense, picked up a thick backed wooden knife and practice the pinnacle of Broken Mountain Blade in front of Chi Da. Indeed, it is the pinnacle of Broken Mountain Sword. Dot. Chi Da was shocked, I didn't expect that you, junior brother, have such talent in martial arts. Su Wenxuan grinned and said, where is this? The strength he has exposed is just the tip of the iceberg of his true strength. Hmm, since you have reached the pinnacle of your cultivation in Broken Mountain Blade, you can indeed cultivate a second martial arts. What type of martial arts do you want to cultivate? Chi Da asked. Su Wenxuan muttered to himself that he wanted to cultivate advanced martial arts, but Chi Da definitely wouldn't teach him, so Su Wenxuan retreated and asked, I want to learn a boxing technique. After learning weapons and martial arts, I will also learn another martial arts skill, including martial arts techniques and techniques. In this way, there is no shortage of attack, defense, speed, weapons, fists and feet, comprehensive development, and no weaknesses. For ordinary people, it's not that the more they practice, the better. Learning more can actually lead to a situation where they are too greedy to chew. It's better to specialize in one area to have more development prospects. Su Wenxuan has two idle positions that are four times faster than his cultivation speed. Of course, he should make the most of everything and develop comprehensively, so that he has no weaknesses. In terms of martial arts. Then you can practice iron sand fist. Dot. So, on the vacant, number one hanging slot, another iron sand's fist appeared. More than a month later. Iron sand's fist has achieved a breakthrough in cultivation, and the current state is perfect. The first level of cultivation in Mo Yu Gong has broken through, and the current level is 0% of the maximum. As Su Wenxuan looked at the vacant number one slot, he couldn't help but smile bitterly. It's really painful to have a super fast idle cultivation speed but nothing to cultivate. On the training ground. 
Su Wenxuan once again stood in front of the force measuring column. Su Wenxuan is here again. Last time he had 500 pounds of strength, I don't know how much strength he has now. At most 600 pounds. I think there should be more, there should be 650 pounds. Look, Su Wenxuan has punched. As Su Wenxuan's fist landed on the force measuring pillar, the blue light spread from bottom to top and quickly crossed the fifth red line. The sixth red line also crossed over. The seventh red line has also been exceeded. Over 700 pounds. Everyone's eyes widened. In the end, the red line just stopped at the position of the eighth red line. Hiss. There's actually 800 pounds of power. How did he cultivate? Why is he so fast? This is not slower than those personally passed down disciples. Many disciples looked at Su Wenxuan with envy, and Su Wenxuan smiled as he left. He knew that in no time, the news that he had reached 800 pounds of strength would spread. This is exactly the result he needs. Showcasing some strength in a timely manner not only has no harm, but also has benefits. As long as he doesn't expose all his strength and always keeps his cards. Has Su Wenxuan's power surpassed 800 pounds? Is he a late bloomer of genius? Hurry up. Continue to show him goodwill, it would be best if we could win him over. A genius at the level of a disciple can no longer be treated casually like before, but must handle their relationship well. Even if they cannot be brought into the same camp, they must at least avoid offending or conflicts. Of course, if there is really a conflict or contradiction, it is necessary to decisively take action and kill it directly. However, Su Wenxuan has never offended anyone or had any conflicts with anyone, so this situation will not occur temporarily. The news spread and soon someone came to find Su Wenxuan, wooing him and releasing goodwill. Of course, Su Wenxuan will not join any forces. As long as he joins a certain force, it is equivalent to offending the hostile forces of that force. Of course, he will not do such foolish things. However, it's not a problem to receive some benefits and put your name on it. Welcoming the guests with a smile and seeing them off, Su Wenxuan's attitude was excellent, and all parties were very satisfied. In fact, many forces do not insist that Su Wenxuan join them, as long as Su Wenxuan does not go to their hostile forces or cause trouble for them. Di Yue and Di Maus Yen also arrived outside the Chuanyin Martial Arts School. Sister, I didn't expect Su Wenxuan to reach 800 pounds of strength. I admit I underestimated him before. Di Maus Yen is still unbelievable to this day. Di Yue said calmly, now believe in your sister's judgment, right? I won't misjudge anyone. Then let's quickly gather Su Wenxuan over to prevent him from being recruited by others. Di Maus Yen hurriedly said. Di Yue waved her hand and said, no, when it comes to people like Su Wenxuan, we can't forcefully recruit them. We just need to show them our goodwill and forcefully recruit them, which will backfire and force them to face our enemy. Di Yue and Di Maus Yen sat opposite Su Wenxuan. Su Gongzi, as your strength improves, the treatment we offer you should also be improved. Di Yue said straightforwardly about the benefits, in the future, if you still name yourself with me, I will give you 20 tails of silver for a month, plus 3 pounds of silver clouded leopard meat. This time, Di Maus Yen didn't say any more complaints. On the contrary, he was a bit worried, whether the benefits he gave to Su Wenxuan were too few. Okay. Su Wenxuan naturally wouldn't refuse. After a pause, he made another request, Miss D, I want some low.grade martial arts secrets. D Yue frowned slightly and said, Young Master Su, forgive me for being blunt. It's better to specialize than to chew too much. Su Wenxuan smiled and said, Miss D misunderstood. I don't want to learn every martial arts, I just want to see more and understand more. If I encounter enemies who use those martial arts in the future, I won't be helpless. Di Yue nodded and said, then I'll have someone bring it to you later. Thank you very much, Miss Di. 
Su Wenxuan was overjoyed. Seeing off Di Yue and Di Maoxian siblings, suddenly a young man with a folding fan and a smile walked over. Su Wenxuan. Su Gongzi. The young man looked at Su Wenxuan. I am. Su Wenxuan nodded and said suspiciously, Young master, are you? My surname is also Di, the young man said. Di's family is Di Tong. Su Wenxuan's heart sank. Di Tong and Di Yue are both members of the Di family. Shouldn't there be any conflict between the two? Did I get angry with Di Yue by putting on a name for myself? He came to trouble me. Di Tong shook his folding fan with a smile and said, Young Master Su, did Di Yue win you over? Hmm. At this point, even if Di Tong causes trouble, Su Wenxuan can only take it. Di Yue gave you the same treatment as Su Gongzi. Di Tong said something that surprised Su Wenxuan, Young Master Su doesn't need to do anything for me, just hang a name with me. How about that? After being slightly surprised, Su Wenxuan understood Di Tong's plan. He has no grudges or grievances against himself, and there is no need to provoke this enemy over Di Yue's trivial matter. He will give himself certain benefits, as long as Su Wenxuan does not completely fall on Di Yue's side. If Su Wenxuan completely fell over to Di Yue, he might not have smiled at Su Wenxuan, but rather secretly killed him by a killer. Thank you very much, young Master Di. Su Wenxuan arched his hands and clenched his fists. Of course, he wouldn't refuse any benefits. He's not really a scapegoat, after all, he has no grudges against anyone and won't fight desperately for anyone. Young Master Su, you are very smart. Di Tong left with a smile on his face. Su Wenxuan watched as Di Tong left and shook his head. The various forces were intricate and complex, and he only needed to take some advantage of them, so it wouldn't involve any conflict or conflict between them. Night falls. Qi De, who had not been looking for Su Wenxuan, arrived in front of him. Have you finished your work, junior brother? Qi De spoke up. I'm done with it. Su Wenxuan said repeatedly. He knew that the highlight had arrived. During the day, Trying to win over his various forces was actually just releasing some goodwill for him, and the benefits he gained were not significant. On the side of Chuanyin Martial Arts School, Qi Hengyue's attitude is what Su Wenxuan is most concerned about. The reason why he exposed a part of his strength was mainly for Qi Hengyue to see. The inner Qi cultivation in martial arts, these precious things, still need to be obtained from Qi Hengyue. After finishing work, Come with me to see my father. Chi De said, Junior brother, you really surprised us. I didn't expect you to be so talented. Su Wenxuan quickly humbly said, It's all because my senior brother and master taught well. He chuckled inwardly, What you know is just the tip of my iceberg. Who would know that Su Wenxuan had already developed internal Qi and entered the realm? Where, where, your talent and hard work are the most important. Qi Da's face was full of smiles. He liked people like Su Wenxuan who were not arrogant or irritable. Compared to some of his disciples who passed down his lineage, he saw Su Wenxuan's achievements as more pleasing to the eye. Come to Qi Hengyue's yard. The disciple pays respects to the master. This is the third time Su Wenxuan has seen Qi Hengyue. The first two times, Qi Hengyue was on the lounge chair, casually glancing at him. This time, Qi Hengyue sat seriously, with a noticeable difference in attitude from the previous two times. Su Wenxuan, Qi Hengyue said solemnly, would you be willing to join my sect and become my own disciple? Su Wenxuan was taken aback. Even Qi De was taken aback. Qi De had long thought that his father might take Su Wenxuan as his biological disciple, but he didn't expect Qi Hengyue to be so decisive. The first thing he said was to take in his biological disciple. When he used to take in his own disciples, there was still a bit of testing. Although the test is not difficult, there is at least one program. I am willing. 
Su Wenxuan was there for this moment, of course not hesitating. Okay, then you will become my personal disciple from now on, Qi Hingyue said. You don't need to pay the tuition anymore. I will also ask Qi De to change your place of residence. When you cultivate to a thousand pounds of strength, I will also teach you the inner qi technique and inner qi martial arts. Thank you very much, Master. Su Wenxuan was overjoyed. What he wanted was this sentence from Qi Hingyue. Qi De took Su Wenxuan to a brand new room, which was even bigger and better. There was even a good dot looking maid who specifically served Su Wenxuan's daily life. The personal disciple of Chuanyan Martial Arts School has indeed received extraordinary treatment. Junior brother, work hard. Qi De encouraged Su Wenxuan and left. Su Wenxuan first went back to his original room and brought over the low dot grade martial arts secret book that Di Yue had sent to him. He also practiced one of the Pancher Gong skills. This Pancher Gong is a pure defensive martial art. At this point, Su Wenxuan had both offensive and defensive abilities, was not lacking in speed, and was proficient in both fist and foot weapons, making him perfect. Unfortunately, there are no internal Qi martial arts that have been included in the grade. In the blink of an eye, it was over a month later. The cultivation of Pancher Gong has made a breakthrough, and the current state is perfect. Su Wenxuan looked at the system panel and found that the first level of Mo Yu Gong had reached its peak of 48% cultivation. It won't be long before it reaches perfection. His internal qi in his Dantian has already reached the thickness of his fingers. Although he has not yet broken through to the second level of internal qi, he should still be considered as a mid-level cultivation in the first level of internal qi. After the first round of Mo Yu Gong was completed, he had no more internal qi techniques to cultivate. Su Wenxuan was not in a hurry, and he learned an unremarkable body technique and martial arts to cultivate in the first hanging position. More than ten days later, the first level of cultivation in Mo Yu Gong has broken through, and the current state is perfect. After seeing the system prompt, Su Wenxuan immediately got up and went to Qi Hingyue's yard. Qi De was talking to Qi Heng Yue when he saw Su Wenxuan coming and smiled, Junior brother, what's up? Master, senior brother, Su Wenxuan said in a deep voice, my strength has reached a thousand pounds. What? Qi De suddenly stood up. Didn't you only gain eight hundred pounds of strength two months ago? Reached a thousand pounds of strength so quickly. End of this chapter. Chapter 8 First class. You are listening at novel full dot audio. The source has no content or has errors. Chapter 9. Two Village. You are listening at novel full dot audio. The source has no content or has errors. Chapter 10. Anti Killing. You are listening at novel full dot audio. Chapter 10 Anti-Killing Su Wenxuan took back half a tail of silver that had been pushed out. When I ask you a question, you obediently answer, what nonsense is there? Dong Bing saw that he had just received half a tail of silver and was about to slip away. He quickly said, that's the real dark market over there. Su asked Xuan Hu in disbelief, is the real dark market? Is this a fake dark market? Dong Bing quickly explained, the dark market here is only traded by non-qualified warriors, while the dark market over there is only traded by qualified warriors. It only opens once every three months and contains many treasures, so that's why it's the real dark market. A flash of inspiration flashed in Su Wenxuan's mind. He had already felt something was wrong. In this dark market, there were only non-qualified warriors. Where did the qualified warriors go? Chi De said that he occasionally comes to take a stroll, and if it were just these ordinary things, it would not be possible to attract him to come and take a stroll. Originally, there was also a dark market for a novice warrior. Previously, Su Wenxuan had not received any products, so Chi De did not inform him. How should I enter the dark market of a novice warrior? 
Seeing the two guards at the entrance of the dilapidated house, Su Wenxuan understood that not everyone can enter, there must be restrictions and requirements. Do you see that stone over there? Dong Bing pointed to a large stone next to the guard. As long as you have developed your inner energy, press your palm on it, and the stone will flash, you can enter. But it's necessary to cultivate internal qi, otherwise the stone won't have any reaction. Su Wenxuan nodded and threw half a tail of silver to Dong Bing, then walked slowly towards the dilapidated house. Indeed, he is a product expert. Dong Bing put away his money and secretly said, Fortunately, I didn't speak recklessly, otherwise I might not be able to leave this dark market. Su Wenxuan walked up to the big stone next to the guard, pressed his palm on it, and suddenly a faint light flashed over the stone. Please come in. The two guards suddenly became respectful and made way for Su Wenxuan. They are all not qualified, and when faced with a qualified warrior like Su Wenxuan, they dare not offend them at all. Entering the dilapidated house, Su Wenxuan saw a large group of people hiding their true appearances sitting in a circle. In the middle, there was a person wearing a black scarf holding a box in his hand, which contained a medicinal plant like Lingji. A hundred years of Lingji, three hundred tails of silver, do you have anything you want? The masked man said in a low voice. I want it. As soon as the words fell, another masked person stood up and walked to the center of the field, quickly completing the transaction with the masked person. Then, the two quickly left without stopping for a moment. After the two of them left, another masked man walked to the middle of the field, holding a precious sword in his hand. By Ling sword, inferior sword, two hundred tails of silver, who wants it? I want it. I want it. Two people spoke almost simultaneously, but in the end, the person who spoke first and the masked man completed the transaction. After reading for a while, Su Wenxuan understood the trading rules of this dark market. The dark market here is different from the dark market outside. There are no stalls here, just gather in a circle, take out the items you want to sell, quote a price, and quickly complete the transaction without any hesitation. If there are several people who are interested in the same item, then the one who opens up the item first is their own, and there is no rule that the higher priced one gets it. After all, the dark market is not an auction house, and many things are not visible. Moreover, the dark market does not have too many rules, so we cannot engage in the same kind of auction. Auctions may eventually evolve into a big fight. Su Wenxuan stood patiently behind the crowd, watching as weapons, elixirs, pills, internal qi techniques, martial arts secrets, and so on were all available for sale. Dong Bing is right, this is the real dark market. There were even a few treasures that Su Wenxuan wanted to buy, but he hesitated for a moment before being bought by someone else. What the dark market looks at is the speed of speaking. However, he is not very disappointed either. His hesitation indicates that he prefers to keep the money, and the money for upgrading the hanging slot should not be used recklessly. Another masked person walked to the center of the field. This person couldn't see her appearance, but at first glance, she knew she must be a woman with a curvy figure, but she didn't know her appearance. The woman was holding a secret book in her hand. She spoke softly, her voice slightly hoarse, clearly not her original voice. The lower level body technique and martial arts, stepping on snow without a trace, is priced at 800 tails of silver. I want it. Su Wenxuan blurted out, his voice becoming louder. I want it. I want it. I want it. Suddenly, Five people simultaneously wanted this self-magic secret script. Among all the secret scripts, the most precious one is undoubtedly the martial arts secret script, which is the foundation of martial arts and indispensable. Among martial arts secrets, the most precious one is undoubtedly the body method secret. Unable to fight, able to run, this is not what Su Wenxuan pursues alone, but what many people pursue. So as soon as the secret technique of stepping on the snow without a trace appeared, several people immediately asked for it at the same time, and others also wanted it, 
but they spoke slowly. Despite the high price of 800 tails for no trace in the snow, it still makes people flock to it and go crazy. Unfortunately, Su Wenxuan sighed in his heart. He did indeed shout, I want, but he was not the first one, but the second one. This secret book, stepping on the snow without a trace, is destined to miss him. I saw a person with a black scarf and a mask standing up. He was the first person to shout, I want it. The person spoke up and said, 800 tails of silver, I don't have it for now. I'll give it to you later. How about that? Everyone was taken aback, and soon there were whispers of laughter. If you don't have money, why don't you tell me? The masked woman selling secret scripts ignored him and looked at Su Wenxuan, who was the second to speak. What about you? Do you have 800 tails of silver? Have of course Su Wenxuan did, but fortunately he brought all the money with him. Even luckier, the first person to speak didn't have enough money, which was his luck. Just as Su Wenxuan was about to complete a transaction with a masked woman, the first masked person to speak suddenly pulled off the black scarf on his face, revealing the face of a middle-aged man with a ferocious knife mark on his left face. Tan Long Someone whispered and recognized the person's identity. A smile appeared on Tan Long's face, and the knife mark on his left face was even more ferocious. He looked at the masked woman and said, I am Tan Long from Tan family. I believe you have heard of this name, and I have good faith in my words. I will definitely not owe you half a tale of silver. Why don't you give me walking in the snow without a trace? Dot. The masked woman still ignored him and just looked at Su Wenxuan, check the secret script. If there are no problems, we will complete the transaction. Okay. Su Wenxuan quickly checked the secret script of stepping on the snow without a trace and confirmed that there were no issues before completing the transaction with the masked woman. The transaction was completed, and Su Wenxuan put away the secret script. The masked woman put away the silver, and the two quickly left the dilapidated house, heading in different directions. You're so brave. Don't you dare to talk to me about saving face. You're looking for death. Tan Long snorted coldly and chased straight toward Su Wenxuan. Not only him, but also a few other figures followed closely in the direction of Su Wenxuan's departure. Of course, on the side of the masked woman, there were also people following closely, but two fewer than those on Su Wenxuan's side. Dark market trading is like this, completely unprotected, full of crisis and risk. The treasure you bought may not necessarily be yours, it may be made as a wedding dress for someone else. The money you get from selling treasures may not necessarily be yours, and it is also possible for others to take it away. Being able to leave safely with treasures and money is truly completing the transaction. Several figures chased after him, and Su Wenxuan naturally noticed. He exhibited fish walking and his figure ran forward quickly. Even if you were to be surrounded by several novice warriors, the ultimate outcome would be a dead end. Damn it! You run so fast, this is the perfect state of body technique. Damn it, I have also practiced a technique of not entering the level of character and body, but I haven't reached the perfect state and can't catch up with him anymore. I can't catch up either. During the pursuit and escape, a few people saw that Su Wenxuan was too fast, and they couldn't catch up, so they had no choice but to give up. In the end, only two people were still chasing Su Wenxuan. One is Tan Long. The other is an unknown figure wearing a blue-faced ghost mask. Both of them have practiced low-dot-grade body techniques and martial arts, and both have reached a perfect level. Su Wenxuan cannot shake them off. Since he couldn't shake off the enemy, Su Wenxuan simply stopped and turned around to look coldly at the two people chasing after him. I only need the secret script of, stepping on the snow without a trace, don't force me to kill you. Tan Long said with half a threat and half a temptation, give me the secret script. You can leave. I still have 500 tails of silver here, and I can give it to you. He saw that Su Wenxuan was not weak and did not want to really fight against him. 
Okay. Pay on one hand and deliver on the other. Su Wenxuan agreed without hesitation. Tan Long was slightly stunned for a moment, but he didn't expect Su Wenxuan to actually agree. He would never have agreed to such a thing. Immediately, Tan Long laughed and threw the package behind him at Su Wenxuan, you are a smart person. To show sincerity, I will give you the silver first. Su Wenxuan picked up the package, took out the secret script of stepping on snow without a trace from his pocket, and threw it at Tan Long, here's the secret script for you. The secret script was flying in the air, and the blue-faced ghost-masked man, who had never moved, suddenly moved. Without saying a word, he rushed towards the secret script and Tan Long angrily drank it, I want to die. Drawing his sword out of its sheath, Tan Long fiercely slashed towards the arm of the blue-faced ghost mask man. If he still wants to obtain the secret script, he will definitely have his arm chopped off. The blue-faced ghost mask man reacted quickly and immediately withdrew his arm, pulled out his sword from his waist, and blocked Tan Long's attack. Ding ding dang dang weapons collided, sparks splattered everywhere, and the two quickly fought together. Su Wenxuan glanced and realized that Tan Long was not afraid to reveal his true face. His strength was indeed strong, and the blue-faced ghost mask man was not his opponent. At this moment, Su Wenxuan moved and didn't pay attention to the secret script that fell on the ground. Instead, he slashed at Tan Long and said, Let's work together to kill Tan Long first and then fight for the secret script. Okay. Under the blue-faced ghost mask, an old voice came out. Puzzy. Tan Long was unexpectedly attacked, and a huge wound was cut on his left back shoulder by Su Wenxuan, splattering blood. The long sword in the hand of the blue-faced ghost mask man also fiercely stabbed Tan Long's right shoulder. The pincer attack is very dangerous, even if Tan Long's strength is strong, it is difficult to resist. Cross cut. With a roar, Tan Long slashed two knives in a cross shape, killing the green-faced ghost mask man. The blue-faced ghost mask man could only withdraw his sword to resist, but he was still thrown away by a strong force. However, Tan Long can manage the front, but he cannot manage Su Wenxuan at the back. Broken Mountain Su Wenxuan used the strongest move of Mountain Cutting Saber, as if he could cut off a large mountain with just one strike. The steel knife fiercely struck Tan Long, dividing him in half from top to bottom. Just at this moment, a flash of sword light shot fiercely, and behind the sharp sword tip, there was the blue-faced ghost mask man Su Wenxuan could see the pride in his eyes. This opportunity was not easy to seize, but it was seized by him. As long as you kill Su Wenxuan, the secret script and money of walking in the snow without a trace belong to him alone. However, the blue-faced ghost mask man noticed that Su Wenxuan's eyes were calm, as if he had anticipated this move. Suddenly, a strong wind suddenly rose, and it seemed that heavy clouds and mist appeared, covering the human eye. Amidst the clouds and mist were endless and terrifying murders. The wind is rising. Clouds are surging. This is the last low murmur heard by the blue-faced ghost mask man. He only felt a slight pain in his neck, and his head and body were forever separated, never able to reunite again. His consciousness dissipated and he retreated into endless darkness and loneliness. In an uninhabited and overgrown wasteland, Su Wenxuan was harvesting under the cover of weeds taller than him. Killing Tan Long and the blue-faced ghost mask man resulted in a total of 900 tails of silver, as well as a precious sword and a precious sword. I spent 800 tails of silver to buy a secret script, and not only did I not lose any money, but I also earned 100 tails of silver. At this point, Su Wenxuan's wealth officially broke through the threshold of 1000 tails of silver and arrived at 1027 tails. He was originally thinking about how to make money after buying the secret recipe for walking in the snow without a trace, but he didn't expect someone to give him a pillow when he was dozing off and instead helped him achieve his goal. The gold belt for killing and setting fire is indeed not a waste. However, this kind of thing cannot be done too much. 
doing too much will eventually lead to accidents, and one day he may also become someone else's trophy. Upgrade the cultivation speed of number one hanging position first. Upgrade successful, the current cultivation speed of the first idle position is eight times. A thousand tails of silver disappeared from before him. Immediately after, Su Wenxuan picked up the secret script of walking in the snow without a trace and began to study it seriously. It wasn't until the words stepping on the snow without a trace with a beginner score of 0.05% appeared on the system panel that Su Wenxuan smiled and put away the secret script. In the future, I will spend one day practicing cloud-piercing force and one day practicing stepping on snow without a trace in the first hanging position. Number 2 Hanging Position, Still Fully Practicing the First Move of Cloud Piercing Saber Technique After finishing everything, Su Wenxuan took out two long cloths and wrapped the precious swords and swords of Danlong and Qingyan Ghost Mask Man, making it impossible for outsiders to see their true appearance. He will sell these two weapons after the real dark market opens in three months. End of this chapter